Hello everyone, welcome to some Hawaii Design. This is Yunus Emin Aljol and today we are here for the third part of the Advanced Level Modeling Video Tutorial Guide. And as you can see here, uh, for the first uh, first two video, we have ended up ended up having at this level uh, when it comes to surface modeling. So um, I'm going to quickly shader the um, glasses uh, here real quick to um, yeah pop up the model. Uh, and kind of define the areas, define the materials in a, in a more accurate way. And here, right now, we are trying to create the side body of the of the car. So I have simply railed one surface over there. So I feel like it's kind of going uh, inside of the car a little bit more than it's supposed to go. So I have I'm kind of changing my mind at the moment. I'm kind of observing that getting inside too much and i'm changing the uh, sweep mode from natural to parallel and then recreating the surface again with only these those two curves and then extending that surface until it kind of exceeds the overall body and simple skin tool between um, side glass and the uh, rail surface and extending that as well I'm trying to just kind of observe what I can get get out here, yeah? what I can kind of create from which way I can kind of get out solving the issue. Yeah. So quickly creating these uh, rocker panel area. As you can see, this is just the rail tool and the skin tool I use pretty much because we already have those curves that we were working uh, in the in the first video but yeah though since those were just the um, regular curves that we drew on the um, 3d space it's just the surfaces that I uh, creating at the moment it's not that hundred percent precise as well these are going to be kind of sketch surfaces so to say um, yeah, kind of exploring the uh, method that I can that I can yeah pop up the side view and looking at the sketch a little bit and thinking that there are there are still ways to reach there we should kind of solve uh, how we can create the overall uh, side view patch layer. And as I was recording, as I was record recording these um edi editing phase let's say as i was in the editing phase i have realized that the lower the lowest curve it is too much angular than it's supposed to be it should be straightly uh, horizontal to the ground um just to keep up with the sketch we have kind of put it as put it there as a angular way but in the i guess next phases i will be fixing that as well because what that simply does is that it's just making the rear uh, wheel lip smaller than it's supposed to be so it kind of make make the 3d uh, look a little bit sloppy and unrealistic so to say and at this part the the crucial thing is i am duplicating the uh, wheel lip um, circle and scaling it so that I can kind of define uh, where these uh, wheel arches are going to connect with the side body surface. I have projected that curve onto the surface and then I'm gonna be trimming out a yeah this is the this is the um, first thing uh, to do when it goes to the side view yeah it's and then afterwards we will be applying the detailed design we will at least try to uh, get on board with the um, side design of the car so I am position aligning that edges that corners to the wheel lip as you noticed I have uh, used extra CV row when aligning the G0 positional alignment that kind of makes us include the second row of the CVs according to the 
changes yeah to that alignment process you just giving a little bit crown yeah let's hide those curves and have a look at have a look at it yeah I'm trying to I'm trying to understand what <clears throat> what is the next step let's say and quickly uh, I try to create some freeform blends uh, surfaces to understand this is pretty much the thinking method I don't have the answers already about how can I create those surfaces yeah this is just I'm thinking through the back in my head that if I use freeform blend over here what it look what it would look like and if I change some CDs, yeah, controlling the zebra, zebra analysis, and trying to feel the side view. But actually, to be honest, in the sketch, there is a more dramatic um, shades and highlights when it comes to the side uh, surface. But we that that is something we can we can uh, consider in the later uh, phase. Yeah, we just I'm just trying to uh be on board with the patch layout it's just kind of mathematically how can i solve that? as you can see over there there is a there is a bump so it it means i have to tuck the middle rows in instead i kind of pull them out but in the in the next steps of the video you will you will see me pushing the those series inside to kind of make the real arch complete Yeah, I was just giving up on that <laughs> at that time and jumping to the uh, rear wheel. Yeah, again, simple freeform bend. One side is G2, which is uh, which which is the uh, touching edge of the wheel lip, and the other side is G2, while the touching edge is G0. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just kind of observing what i am ending up with just i'm the uh, i have detached the surfaces to keep the continuity yeah to to, <laughs> to make everybody happy just yellow i'm sorry it, it was just yellow uh positional problem so we kind of convert that with green uh, curvature dot so to say yeah <clears throat> easy one of the simple simplest layouts when it comes to the side view but of course we gotta deep dive into that it's just the basics this is something that i can i created to see the volume pretty much more or less yeah i'm thinking it like does that seem right or should i uh should i do something else yeah i don't know but yeah it's not that bad not that bad and you see this sleek dynamic um side view of the overall uh shape is kind of showing itself yeah it, it's it, it has actually good stance to be honest nice design i really like it but of course, we are kind of, we will find ourselves uh, changing uh, some of the features because we are kind of getting close to the overall, you know, realistic proportions. Yeah, I'm just trying to, uh, trying to do the details of the rocker panel. Yeah, lower the CVs. Um, even though it's a positional break over there, I just don't care because I already know that if I add one more CV row in the middle and then realign that, it will just uh, be correctly positional aligned. So saying it's it's a fail at the moment does not mean anything. So I'm just focused on uh, trying to pop up the design feature over there rather than the 
constructing uh, A-class perfect highlighted uh, solutions because we have to we have to make the design show itself first and then we can uh, of course focus on the detailing of the surfaces but at some part we are kind of doing both ways considering the surface quality and the design but at some areas you just focus on the design yeah you just gotta pop the design up unless it doesn't matter if you have position of um, yellow dot over there or green doesn't matter here we are just kind of getting close but we have still so much to do especially when it comes to that front uh, wheel arch connection you gotta do something there we gotta change something there which is I don't know it seems like we gotta delete some details that it did that we've done in the previous video but I already knew that I was I was gonna erase them they were just meaningless but it kind of meant it kind of meant something when it comes to the um fill filleting lessons let's say but for the overall proportion when when you look at the overall proportion we have so many surfaces are missing we haven't settled anything yet so that is why we we were kind of acting uh, earlier than we're supposed to do when it comes to uh, those filleting operations it was just kind of uh, so to say show off for, from the uh, previous session yeah, as you can see, I have deleted that those surfaces, and I'm just uh, correcting the wheel lip a little bit, uh, yeah, aligning with that red uh, angular uh, horizontal-ish uh, curve over there, which I I'm thinking at the moment we should change that as well uh, for the for the proportional sakes, for the proportional wise. <clears throat> so what I do here, I have. I have found the center point of the wheel or wheel arc or wheel lip, doesn't matter. The center point. And then I am creating the curve layouts and considering the angles of them. Because most of the patch layouts angle are not were not right. If they, they were just twisted a lot. So I am kinda pointing those patch layouts right in right. To the center of that wheel or wheel lip, yeah you see i'm extending the fillets and then a trim converting with those projected curves so that every corner of the patch layout goes to uh, to the same direction which is really important lesson when it comes to the wheel lip and wheel arch of course there are some cases that we break the rules but I kind of strongly uh, suggest this method they, uh, when it comes to the um, surface modeling quality those patch layouts should go to the same way because otherwise it's kind of you 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 will uh, you will have some distorted highlights or twisting surfaces as you can see I have deleted the middle ropes and I'm just gonna tuck them in actually but before I gotta fix this because those um, wheel arch surfaces are not 100% um, completing each other because the reference surfaces that we projected were not uh, completing themselves so I am just duplicating the edges and to create uh, one single clean uh, surf uh, curve layout you will see I will be aligning yeah, I aligned that curve uh, and then kind of you see it, it, it comes from back of the car uh, until it reaches front it's just one complete uh, curve layout it should be yeah so I'm just kind of fixing it fixing that by creating the clean curve layout so because yeah the next step we will be using that curve as a reference point uh, for our surfaces and we are going to be aligning that main surface edges to that 
curves and then we will be fixing the alignment issues uh, happening in the on the VLAN. Yeah, just simple movements. Yeah. I'm gonna untrim that surface and project uh, some curves on them. And then we, I'm going to be trim converting that main surface as well. Maybe just this is, I mean, we have already created that surface. Why we uh, we are doing the same things again and again? Because the answer is simple. We discover the problems as we go modeling, as we do the uh, as we do the rest of the car. We are kind of discovering the problem, and the problems are kind of highlighting the previous steps that we do so it means that we gotta go back to that previous step and fix it and then jump back again for the next steps and align them uh, to the changes yeah as you can see over here uh, these two surfaces should be should be aligning uh, at the same direction and they have to be they have to on top of each other so that we can align the wheel arch uh, on top of them yeah right now if i i'm i'm going to be railing that surface and you will see that rail when i hit the g2 is already positional to that surface and the curvature to that uh, side surface it is simply only because we have uh, aligned that two surfaces to the same curve layout, which was already G2 uh, curvature. So right now, I'm fixing the V arch according to the um, according to the um, changes that I do on the edge. Let's say the corner improvement. It, it, it'll it'll work this time in a better way so we will have kind of closed up uh, 3d patch layout surfaces. yeah i'm only i'm only projecting the edges i'm not aligning the surface at the moment i have only only projected the edges of the patch layout and then I'm going to trim that main surface. I'm just extending one curve and projecting that as well. It just doesn't matter, doesn't mean anything rather than trimming the, the, trimming the surface. And now I am doing edge align, G2 edge align. And when I, when I, yeah, I'm extending back until it, it, kind of meet with that patch layout that we create that we divided over there and free from blend between uh, selecting G2 I will be not doing project align I will only project the edge over there you see and it will already uh, be G2 continuity over there I haven't project used project align. I have already only used the edge align because the other two surfaces that I do free from blend between were already G2 edge line. So they, they are just kind of following themselves. Yeah? Now, rail tool over there. And then again, trim converting so that we have complete, clean uh, patch layout. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really muscle work going on over there. It's been, yeah. Never forget fixing the surface orientation. It is always better to fix them than not fixing them. Yeah, first I'm going to be pushing them in. 
and then I'm going, gonna be adding one more CV row and manually manually get close I'm trying to get closer to the CV rows and then I will use a line tool so that we kind of getting the mathematical uh, formula kind of in a better way because these should be kind of smoothly transition each other if we were doing the alignment as it is in one go for the rest of the cv layout we will be a lot worse we first manually aligned and then using the align tool yeah not bad not bad That is one strong, powerful wheel arch over there. I don't know, maybe when we compare to the design sketch, we should maybe change some stuff over there, but for now, it's not bad. We got a really deep time. And the thing is, now there is this shoulder line coming from the uh, side of the car and then not meeting any uh, line in the in the, in the uh, hood, let's say. So we should fix that as well. Yeah, right that area. Exactly this one. It kind of that surface should kind of tweak a little to meet that belt line and the um meet that bat line so i i can kind of copy that surface and move a little and i will align that surface edge before i i do trim convert to that uh curve yeah i'm just observing it. by the way uh, notice that uh, i have added i've been adding extra cv rows so that it kind of affects the surface layout in a more equal way. And I'm using freeform blend between. We are kind of connecting that uh, shoulder line and the belt line through the hood. Yeah, in a much kind of in a better way that at least makes sense, let's say. I'm realigning that surface to keep up the history behind. So there, there is a uh, sloppy surface over there. There's a sloppy edge. To fix that, I have to to weak a little of the surface that we have aligned before that belt line surface. And I guess I will be doing that in a in a minute. Once we once we uh, pull that second row of the cv to outside a little it will kind of begin fixing itself yeah yeah once i move that cv and the alignment kind of follows that so that i can fix that manually yeah as long as it, it is look it looks good to our eyes it's just there is no problem over there yeah i guess this is it for today's uh, lesson guys for the part three and thank you for uh, keeping up with me until here and don't forget to subscribe like the video and yeah comment below and see you on the next one. Thank you for watching until here. Bye-bye.